Hey guys, thank you for tuning back into my channel. My name is Zell Dog, and this is my kitchen. And today on the chopping block, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make a copycat Hooters chicken wings. All right, so here's the Hooters seasoned bread mix right here, and here's the hot sauce right here, guys. All right, and I have some chicken wings right here. So now you, you ain't got to go to Hooters. You can make them at home. I got all these products at Walmart. All right. So I right, wash and clean my chicken. We're just going to open up this bag. Quick, fast, and in a hurry, guys. Nope. Nothing to it. Pull this bread seasoning in here. I have roughly like about four pounds of um, chicken wings. All right. I'm just gonna take these and put them in, in here. They already have seasoning in the bag. Okay. I'm just gonna take this and I'm gonna shake them up in there. Just like that, guys. All right. Take the rest. I like to leave mine in the flour. So it have a thicker coat to it. Now if you want these to be like super crispy guys, what you could do to hook them up, you can um, take use some um, cornstarch and add it to this um, flour. Make sure you get your your um, oil preheated to like 350. So how are we doing? We're gonna wash that bowl back out and we're gonna put our sauce in there. Now they said, um, do not warm up the sauce. You're just gonna pour the sauce on the chicken wing, on the hot chicken wings. And that's it. Now what they want you to do is, when you get through uh, flouring these up, they want you to put them on like a pan or something like that and stick them in the refrigerator. I don't cook my chicken like that. I don't like my room, room temperature. If you want them extra spicy, you can put you some cayenne or some slap your mama or whatever you want to put on there. But this is how we're going to do this today. And we're going to let this sit up for about good five, ten minutes while my oil preheating. See you guys in a minute. Okay, fam, I'm back. My turkey fried. Drop the basket. I always drop my basket and then drop my chicken in there. Now you can use vegetable oil, but I always use peanut oil. But yeah, do it however you want to. Say so you can use vegetable oil. So I'm just gonna drop my chicken. I'll knock some of the dust off, some of the extra flour off. And we're pretty much just going to cook this about 15, I mean about 10 minutes. Alright guys, I'm going to go ahead and drop the rest of these and I'll see you guys when it's done. In a minute. Alright Sam, now what I like to do, when it cooks about 2 or 3 minutes, just to make sure that even when it's cooked, I'll shake it around like so. And let them go. Alright, give you guys the next 10 minutes. Okay, fam. It's been almost 10 minutes. What I'm gonna do right here, you wanna add the crunchy and crispy. See how good this chicken look. We're gonna let that sit right there for about five to ten minutes or until it's time build back up to 350. And then we're gonna drop it again for three to four minutes. Alright, I'll see you guys in a minute. Okay, fam, I'm back. It's at 350. So I'm going to go ahead and drop this again. I'll let it cook for three to four minutes. And I'll be plating this up. Show you guys how to cook it up. See you guys in a minute. Okay, fam. That's the chicken. Show you guys how that look. All right. 
that we're going to put some of this stuff on here. They recommend you use the whole jar. I'm not going to put all of it on there. Save a little bit. I might be doing something else. So that's that. Then I'm going to take this lid and shake it up. Well, I may not be able to do that, but there's <laughs> a lot on there. So just keep shaking it till they get well coated. How they normally do it at the restaurant. My chicken fell off. Mm. Could have used a bigger bowl, but hey, it's good enough. All right, fam, I'm gonna go ahead and plate this up. Show you what we'll be doing next. That's how that looks. All right, fam, see you guys in a minute. Okay, fam, I'm finally done with this copycat Hooters chicken wings with the hot sauce. All right, let me show you guys how that looks up close. That's how that looks up close, guys. And um, let me go ahead and taste a piece for you. I still got some left over. So. Mmm. That's good. Mmm-mmm. Tastes just like hooters. <laughs> no doubt about it. Got some fries right here. They're hot. <laughs> Really good. Here you guys. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up. I'm ready to dive right into this. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna let you guys get some of this um, chicken wing. Okay guys, you can get that bite right there. Get that bite. That's all you, ah. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Super delicious. So guys, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video because I'm ready to eat. Mmm. So guys, if you like this video of this copycat Huda Hot Wings, please give me a like, share, and please subscribe to the channel. And don't forget that. That's right, you already know. Hit that! So you too can be notified next time I blow another delicious recipe. And thank you for watching. And I'll see you guys next time in Veldahl Kitchen. Much love. Happy cooking.